um, it was a blessing. Um, just being in an environment where, you know, everybody was into it. You know, all the staff was here. You know, they, they was all into it and engaged. And um, it was just fun. You know, you dream of being in environments like this and, you know, competing with, you know, my colleagues and my peers and stuff. And um, so I had a lot of fun today, a lot of fun. What are you trying to show teams in these settings? Um, just my competitiveness, my toughness, um, my will to win. You know, I ain't lose too many games today uh, in our competition. So um, just, you know, I'm a competitor. I want to win. I want to be at the highest stage, the highest level. And, um, you know, that's my mindset going into it. What's your schedule like right now? What stop is this for you? Where are you going next? Um, so this is actually my first stop. I've been in Puerto Rico nice. uh, for like the last month and a half. And um, I think I'm headed to Toronto in a, a few days. So, um, I mean, I'm excited. It's just, you know, you wish to be here. You, you know, you pray. And um, just want to thank God, you know, for, you know, blessing me with this opportunity. Spending so much time at Maryland, um, you know, what would it mean if, if the Wizards were the team? Just yeah. I know it's also not too far from where you grew up. Yeah, nah, it's a blessing. Um, you know, my whole mindset was going to Maryland is so my mom could see me play. Um, you know, a lot of people know that I'm close to my mom, and, you know, she's been there throughout my whole journey. So um, it'll be a blessing for her to just, you know, make that ride down the road, you know, like she did at Maryland and uh, come watch me play. So, um, I mean, wherever I do get uh, put or uh, placed in, um, you know, it's, I'm blessed. But definitely Washington, like a lot of Terps in here, you know, a lot of guys from Maryland and stuff. So it's, it's nice to see a lot of familiar faces and, um, you know, just happy to be here. Daryl, even Mike yeah, there. I mean, yeah. Like I mean, me and Daryl working out like we didn't did that midnight, 6 a.m. in the morning. So it, it didn't feel no different than things that we already did before. So it was fun, like just being out there with somebody that I know and been through a lot with. You know, we spent three years together uh, at college. So like going through those drills, it felt like just like us working out back at school. What are you trying to show teams and tell teams about you as a shooter? Because I, mm -hmm. I saw your freshman year, you shot over yeah. 40 percent in high volume. And Absolutely. Then, um, you know, I guess now that that's a few years removed from that, what are you kind mm -hmm. of trying to show teams now? Um, I'm versatile. You know, I could play either guard position. Um, you know, defensively, I've improved a lot. Um, you know, that's been a focus of mine. And, you know, my, uh, my energy, my effort, you know, playing hard on both ends. And, um, you know, like I said, the, a will to win. You know, I want to win, you know, every game, everything I'm doing. And, uh, you know, play at the highest stage. You know, I went to Maryland, you know, because it was a winning program. You know, we made it to March Madness a couple of years there. We won a Big Ten championship. And, um, you know, God willingly, you know, in the NBA, I want to, you know, be at the high stage, playoff basketball. You know, that's where the best of the best show they, uh, you know, what they made of. So um, definitely kind of got that mindset going into it. Who are you kind of leaning on as you go through this process? Do you get to yeah. ask Daryl today since it's kind of he's a little bit further along in his stops? Or do you yeah. talk to agents? Like um, definitely agents. Um, I got a lot of friends that have been through this before. So um, a lot of guys that, you know, ask questions and, you know, they give me a lot of advice. Um, Rondé Jefferson has been a, a, you know, a key guy for me recently, just, you know, giving me the game, um, you know, telling me get there early, little nuances that, you know, help you, you know, long term. So, um, like I said, I got a lot of friends that, you know, been through this process and just, you know, they always a phone call away. You know, they always answer the phone when I call and uh, been very helpful for me. What do you think about the direction of uh, the Maryland program, the, the coaching hire? Oh, I think he's going to do a great job. Um, you know, he recruited me in high school, and uh, the culture there is, is beautiful. You know, I know he's going to do his thing. Um, you know, I'm familiar with him. I got some friends at St. Hall, and, um, you know, he did a great job there. So I think, uh, you know, I'm still, I might come to, a, come to a game, you know, and, uh, you know, support them all the way, you know, Maryland forever. Now that you're here, how extensive has the, the interview process been for you? Have you team officials? take you out to dinner? Do they sit mm -hmm. down with you? Um, so this this is my first workout, so I'll actually have my interview after this. And, um, so I'm definitely looking forward to it and, uh, you know, just showing, you know, who I am, my personality and everything. Is there an NBA player that you kind of model your game after or maybe the track that they took from where you are now you'd like to follow? Um, I mean, I try to take bits and pieces from everybody and just kind of like put it all in one. Um, you know, one thing I notice a lot about guys in my position where, um, you know, just just going through the, the journey, um, definitely the gym. You know, you got to stay in the gym. And, um, you know, when you're working out, you're working on your game, it translates. You know, and people say, you know, stay in the gym and all that kind of stuff, but it's like a real thing. You actually got to put the work in. You know, if I miss a day, I feel like I missed a week, a month. You know, so just, you know, trying to be in the gym every day, trying to do everything I, I can to help myself. You know, I'm not in school right now, so it's been a blessing just to, like, you know, be full-time invested into it. What does Daryl bring to a team? Um, energy, a leader. A uh, defensive player, personality. Um, he's just a great guy all around. You know, uh, he's one of those locker room guys that, you know, in the locker room helping out everybody a lot. And um, you know, he was monumental for me. You know, he was a sophomore when I, when I was a freshman. So, um, you know, just showing me the ropes, how you know our culture was, and uh, you know, I think he had, he had bring a lot to a team. And what 
makes him a, a good defender, an effective mm -hmm. defender. He's smart and intelligent. You know, he studies the game, you know, in college, he watching all the games. You know, he's in college, he watching all the games. We come to, to the gym the next day, he telling me, yo, you watch the game last time? I'm like, yeah, I caught it. And he just, you know, understanding the game. You know, his IQ is, you know, through the roof. And, um, you know, he, he studies the game a lot. What's the most memorable game from your Maryland career? Um, definitely my sophomore year when we won the Big Ten Championship. Um, it was a winner go home kind of thing. It was our last game. We were supposed to win it four games before. Uh, but we kind of slipped a little bit, and our last game was against Michigan. You know, it was that game or nothing. And then COVID hit right after, so that was kind of like our, our end of the year kind of thing. So that was that was one of the most special moments there. What were you doing in Puerto Rico? Were you working out? Were you seeing? Yeah, working out, um, also playing a little bit um, with the professional team out there. So, um, you know, just getting some rhythm, um, you know, playing with older guys. It's definitely a big difference in the strength. So i um, definitely been lifting a lot of weights and stuff. And um, I'm a bigger guard, so it's kind of normal for me to, you know, use my strength and stuff, but uh, it's definitely been a blessing just being out there. Do you feel like you gained something even though it wasn't, hasn't been that long? Yeah, just um, like how to be a pro, how to be a professional, um, getting to the gym early, being the first one in the gym, taking care of your body, um, eating right. Um, and then, you know, outside of basketball, you reach to your community. Um, a friend of mine uh, who just been teaching me, like, you know, he got his own foundation and, you know, how he gets back to the community and, uh, where he's from. So. That's been the biggest thing that I kind of learned out there is just, you know, now you're in a position to help a lot of other people. So that's what I want to do. And, I, you know, granted, everything go how I go. <laughs> what did you like when you worked on today? Um, my energy. I felt like I shot the ball good today. Uh, definitely made some good defensive plays um, and just competed. You know, like I said earlier, uh, my team won a lot of games today. And, um, you know, we definitely was competitive. So what I really liked and appreciated was the staff and how, the, how into it they was. You know, I wasn't really knowing what to expect. so. You know, the staff was just real into it, and, um, you know, I appreciated that a lot. And as you go through this process, what are some of the areas of your game, what the team really can see and key in on? Um, just my competitiveness. You know, I'm a tough player. Um, I'm out there to win. You know, I dove on the floor like three times a day. So a uh, little stuff like that that um, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win. And um, my versatility, you know, being at a guard, I pretty much guard every position today, you know, from the guards to the big. So uh, definitely just being versatile. And then lastly, but this opportunity, has it hit you? Has it sunk in? Just how are you embracing this new journey? Um, definitely embracing it. You know, blessed to be here, but a sense of I belong. You know, I'm confident. You know, this is where I, you know, this is what I want to do. So I'm, I'm all in on it for sure. Who do you choose as your agent? Um, Joe Bell. Joe Bell, great guy. He's my guy. You tested the waters a little bit last year at the NBA. Mm -hmm. and, you know, just kind of talking about the COVID and just how long this last yeah. four years or so have been. I mean, what does it mean? you to just be here right now, does it feel real that you're finally actually going through this process? Um, it's, it's, it's hard because like you in it, so you don't really got the time to really sit there and be like, wow, I'm really here because it'll, it'll pass you by. You know, it's little stuff that you got to gotta be in the moment and, um, you know, take advantage of. Um, it's definitely a blessing, though, you know, um, you know, it's what you dream of as a kid, you know, be a dream of being in these positions and, um, you know, we're here, so I'm definitely taking the most of it and uh, just taking it in stride. Portsmouth and the draft combine? No, I didn't attend none. I was just working out. Yeah. What was the name of the team you were with in? Yeah. San Herman Atleticos. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Say the first part again. Uh, San Herman. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning my, my, I'm Puerto Rican, so my Spanish is getting a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> For sure.